Welcome to Easy Learning, Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth, and today we are going to be learning on the top form two mathematics on the topic uh, surface area of common solid. And our subtopic for today is surface area of a frustrum from a pyramid. So remember, previously we looked at the surface area of a frustrum from a cone, and you notice there is a slight difference. Because in both cases, we are looking at the curved surface area. So even when you look at the frustrum of a truncated pyramid, we're just going to take the base areas and the curved area. So you look, you take the area of the top base and then the area of the bottom base, and then you take the area of the curved, which consists majorly of uh, trapeziums. So we are going to involve and then we add all these areas together and then we are going to get our surface area. This is quite different from when you are looking at the frustrum of a cone where we just took the curved surface of the cone of the bigger cone minus the curved surface of the smaller cone. So let's do an example so that you can understand what I mean. So we have these... Uh, this is a square based uh, pyramid, but has been cut to form a square based frustrum. So you can see we have the top base, which is a square, and the bottom, bottom, the top part, which is a square, and also the bottom part, which is a square. And then we have some trapeziums. So we are going to calculate the area of each and every surface, and then we add them together. So let's start with the square on the top which is going to be s squared, so it is 8 times 8, which gives us 64 centimeters squared. And then we have the square at the bottom, so s squared also, it's going to be 12 times 12, which gives us 144 centimeters squared. The next thing now is our trapezium. We have trapezium along or curved across the frustrum. So if you are able to get the area of one trapezium, then we can be able to get multiply that by four and get the area of the other trapeziums. So let's see how we are going to do that. So this is how it looks like. Remember uh, the lower uh, length is prior to the upper one. So this is eight centimeters and this is 12 centimeters. And remember, we use the formula of a half a plus b times height where a and b are the length and height. So we need to, to get our height to what we want to do this area. So we are going to drop a perpendicular bisector here and a perpendicular bisector here. Because the distance between the perpendicular bisector and this perpendicular bisector is 8 centimeters. Because remember, these two lines are parallel to each other. So the remaining, when you subtract 12 minus 8, you get 4. This tells you this side is 2 centimeters and also this side is 2 centimeters. Remember that, keep that in mind. So this forms a right angle triangle. And remember this side is 9 centimeters. This means also this is 9 centimeters. So the hypotenuse is 9 centimeters and the base is two centimeters so we are looking for this value which is our height so we are going to use the pythagoras theorem which is going to be nine squared is equals to x squared plus two squared so we are going to bring two squared this other side which is going to be our x squared is equals to nine squared minus two squared so this is the same as 81 minus four so when we do 81 minus 4, we get 77 equals to x squared. So we remove the squared by square root both sides. So x is equals to the square root of 77, which gives us 8.8. .8. So this is our height. So now that we have our height, we are going to calculate the area of the trapezium, which is going to be a half into bracket 8 plus 12, which are the AB, times height, which is 8.8. .8. And remember this height is uniform 
across all the trapeziums forming this plastron. So this is the same as a half. 8 plus 12 gives us 20 plus 88.8 divided by 2 and by 210, which gives us 88 centimeters squared. And I said this is for just one trapezium. So remember, we have one, two, three, four, the faces. So it's going to be 88 times 4. So 88 times 4 gives us 352 centimeters squared. And then after that, you add the area of the uh, base, the top part and the bottom part. So it's going to be 64 centimeters cubed plus 144 centimeters squared, sorry, and 352 centimeters squared. So this is going to be 352 plus 144 plus 64, which gives us five, 560 centimeters squared, and that's your answer. Let's do one more question so that you can be able to get completely. So once again, this is a square based frustrum. As you can see, we have a square at the top, top uh, part and the base is also a square. So the first area is going to be 10 times 10, which is going to give us 100. And then the second area of the second square is going to be 6 times 6, which is going to give us 36. And then when you look at the trapezium, which looks like this. Remember, this is 8, 8, this is 6, this is 10. So if you dro drop a perpendicular bisector, remember the distance between these two bisectors is 6. So this means this is 2, this is 2. So using Pythagoras theorem, we have 2 here, we have 8, we look, look for the value of x which becomes x squared is equals to 8 squared. Let's do slowly by slowly. 8 squared is equals to x squared plus 2 squared, so that you can bring 2 squared this side, which gives us x squared is equals to 8 squared minus 2 squared, which is the same as 64 minus 4, which gives us 60. So we get the square root from both sides. So the value of x is equal to the square root of 60, which is equal to uh, 7.74 or 7.75 because it's 7.7459. So the area of the trapezium is going to be a half 6 plus 10 times height, which is 7.75. This is the same as a half times 16 times 7.75. So by 2, 1, by 2, 8. So this is going to be 8 times 7.75, which gives us 62 centimeters squared. If you multiply this by 4, since there are 4 trapeziums, we are going to get 248. And remember what we said, you add all the areas plus 100 plus 36. So we add 136 and we get 384 centimeters squared. So that's how you calculate uh, the surface area of a frustrum from a pyramid. That brings us to the end. Uh, you can check out more revision questions and notes on the scene uh, in the app. So see you in the next lesson.